What's up, God? Daily Twin Flame reading for what is today? August 14th. Um, this is a message for the collective. If you, of, of course, this is a general message. If you resonate with it, cool. If you don't, cool. I ask that you like, subscribe, and comment. I think I have a hater that's just watching my videos and wants to press the dislike button. So I'm asking to spread love, to combat the hate. So please like, subscribe, and comment if you like this video. All right, the overall message of this Twin Flame reading, we have the Two of Cups, we have I Surge on the Uprising Wave of Love, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. What am I getting? From this energy, I'm getting two becomes one in a sense of union and coming together of a divine partnership. And, and I know this is divinely led because this Oracle card is specifically... Mm, she offers the sacred wine. So drink. I love that. Anyway, so this is specifically... Ooh, look at me in that card. You can see me. It's specifically stating that this is divinely led and there is no stopping it. So this is this is something that the universe has been working towards. This is something that God and the universe has been working towards manifesting. That's meant to be, that's supposed to happen, and that's going to happen. So it's a divinely led partnership that's going to be coming together because it's time. And the time will be Libra season because I pulled this card. I just want to see what energy I would get from this deck. I got the Two of Cups and I got Justice. Of course, this is attaining to... Finally receiving what you've given. Finally receiving the love that you put out. Or finally receiving a equal give and take relationship. And receiving, um, you know, the Justice card is karmic too. But it's like finally receiving what you put out there. But it's also a tuning to Libra season. So I, I feel like this is saying a divinely led partnership is being orchestrated. The union of a divinely led partnership is being orchestrated. And two becomes one, meaning a union of divine masculine, divine feminine God comes together as one. All right. So the first card we have, and um, sorry, before I go on, it's going to happen in a time in your life well, where you're, you, you're happy as you are. You're happy with who you are. You're happy with where you are in life. It's going to be a time where you're blessed. You're feeling blessed and abundant as you are. You are enough. You're feeling like a lot of self-love, a lot of self-care, abundance, financial stability. You're going to be in a place where you're whole and free by yourself. It, oh, they say it happens like that when you stop looking, when... Things, what Ace of Wands wants to show itself? Like, out the blue. That's what I'm getting with the Ace of Wands. Like, you know, finally, when you get yourself to a place, boom, out the blue. Here comes your partner. Or when you finally get yourself to a place that you're happy being alone, you're happy with yourself, you're happy with your life, and then out of no way, you know, the Ace of Wands shows up and blesses you with a passionate connection with someone who you thought that it could, you know, you weren't even thinking about this partnership. First two cards go hand in hand, so I'll, I'll do it together. You have the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. This is the energy... Um, Again, this is divinely led. This is divinely orchestrated. Why is my lighting acting up? This is divinely led and divinely orchestrated, and it's finally coming together. And it's a love from your past. It's someone you've already connected with, someone you have love for in your heart. You know who this person is. And it's just coming together for you. It could be two options for you. But the one that is meant to be is coming together for you. It's being divinely orchestrated in your guides the universe, um, ancestors, it's all pouring into both of you and, and orchestrating the lives and, and creating powerful changes in both of your lives, bringing you two together. In the past, it just wasn't enough. With the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Cups, the past, it, it wasn't enough. It was like, you know, it's something that you felt like you missed out on. There was offers that was coming in and those offers were denied. And you feel like the energy I'm getting from this is like you thought it wasn't enough or you just didn't see it for what it was. 
And I'm feeling like the divine masculine, the person that resonates with the masculine energy is like, you know, I feel like shit because I denied this offer. I feel like shit because I denied my feminine. It's like the offer came in. He said no. And now look, it's like I feel like shit about it. It's like, why did I do that? Because you are enough. You are enough. You're in, clearly, and you're in the energy of it. You know you're enough. You know you're whole. You know you're abundant. You know that you're blessed. You know that you're enough. And finally, this masculine comes around from your past because he's being, the divine is breaking bread with him. And when you break bread, um, if you remember the Bible story where um, Horace, Jesus, whatever you want to call him, come back and um, he was breaking bread with the disciples, meaning imparting knowledge and insight. So it's like the divine masculine is getting this femininely lit insight and now he's like wow like I cannot believe I denied her my feminine or you know excuse the gender words but I can't believe that I said no and it's like you know he doesn't feel good about previously denying you but now he's clear now the masculine you know these labels he she forgive me guys but now the masculine is very clear but the king of swords is like, I know who she is. I know who I am. I know what I want. The king of swords get what he sets his heart out on. He knows. He's very clear about his decisions. And he clearly knows what he's after. Come on, Lightning. You can do better. And what he wants is to offer you a new faith. Offer you love. Offer you stability. Offer you... Let's enter a new phase of life together. Let's up-level each other. Let's come together as one. All three of these go together. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Lovers. Let's start a new phase of life. Let's, let's try again. Can we try again? Let's have new beginnings together. Let's be one with God together. That's the energy I'm getting from that. Lastly, we have the human gift, 17 oracle card. That is a 20 to clarity. What I, did, I said, in, spirit is breaking bread with him, imparting knowledge. Look at this card. It's like spirits all over it. But it's basically saying clarity about a situation from the past. Insight is like an aha moment experience where the masculine and the feminine both both have now a more a better understanding of the partnership a better understanding of why things had to happen the way that they happened a better understanding of even the twin flame journey it's like okay i get it now okay this is my partner i understand why we had to separate or why we couldn't be together during this period during this phase I understand why we couldn't, but this clarity comes when you come together. This clarity comes when you um, come together. After this offer comes in and you come together, you both, ex first of all, he has clarity now with who you are and, and what he wants from you. But when you come together, you experience whoever resonates with the person that's being, you know, that's going to get the offer, the feminine, possibly. Um... You now have understanding as well of the journey, why you had to separate during this period of time, because you both had to grow. You both had to get to this place of I'm enough. Just think about getting into a relationship where you, you enter it and you don't think you're enough. That's when this energy comes. Jealousy. You know, you know. It's not healthy. Codependencies happen like that. In a twin flame relationship, a divine partnership is not supposed to be about a codependency. It's supposed to be about being one with God and knowing who you are and knowing who your partner is and being one and working, being light workers and, and completing your purposes. So at this point when the offer was coming in, but, you know, someone was saying no, it wasn't time. Things fall apart sometimes. So that they can fall together. You had to be alone during this time. Or you had to experience the separation in order to grow individually. In order to get out of your codependent karmic relationships. 
somebody may have had to get out of a karmic relationship. Another person may have had to just grow as a person in wholeness. You had to learn that you're good enough. You had to learn that you can create a life for yourself where you're abundant and whole, period. You didn't need a divine partner to get to this place. You didn't need anyone else to get you to a place of wholeness and stability of internal emotional tranquility and peace. You can do that yourself. You can do that. In, if you would have connected with this partnership around this phase, when you know when he was when someone was being denied, it would have created a codependency. You know, you wouldn't have grown the way that you are growing and will grow. Yeah. So this partnership is coming together, and I believe it's going to happen during Libra season because you're continuously working on yourself. You're getting yourself to a place, a better place. And this is not just financially. It is financially. But you're getting yourself to a better place emotionally. You're getting yourself to a better place in esteem-wise. Knowing that you are good enough, you you know, what you have to offer is good enough, and you're becoming whole and balanced and healed within yourself. And, and the masculine is gaining insight and clarity. The masculine is ridding himself of, you know, karmic relationships and cycles. Under, having a deeper understanding of who you want and, and why, you know, getting insight and clarity um, into who he is as a person and who he wants, who matches his vibe, who matches his energy, who takes him to another level. You may even begin in some dreams. I've I've started having dreams um, about a particular masculine that I actually haven't dreamt about in a while. I'm like, whoa, what are these dreams about? Why is this person back in my dreams? Anyway, you're growing, he's growing, and he's growing in inside knowledge, in his feminine energy, and now he knows, all right, I want to come together. I want to enter a new phase of life with my feminine and come together as one, as God. You know, this is the person I was created to be with. I know now. You know, if you will sum up this card, is you basically saying, I know now. Yep. Yeah. Just as hard, sometimes I'll be thinking of marriage as well. You know, I keep getting marriage with this justice card, but also Libra season. Two becoming one. Ooh, yes, one more thing. I also want to mention that the number 17 is spiritual completion. It's leading yourself and being led to spiritual completion. And that's what this twin flame journey is about as well, is spiritual completion. Um, the number seven, of course, is spiritual perfection and completion. And the number one is independence and, you know, starting and beginning and new beginnings and things of that sort. But it's like, you know, getting yourself to a place of spiritual completion and you're almost there. This is spiritual completion right here. This nine of pentacles, I'm getting the energy of blessed. Look at that. Look at her with the bird. Look at the red on her, you know, look at the trees. Spiritual completion, tranquility, blessings, wholeness, and healing. Spiritual completion is about healing. That's what it's about. And putting you into a position to be one with God. And as a vessel of God on earth. Then we have, I just want to attune to these cards here. Because the bottom of the deck energy, we have the two of cups. But it's a, it's a story in itself. And I want to tell the story. All right. Who is messaging me? Okay. All right. Okay, let's start with here. <laughs> Interesting. Four of Cups right there. All right, let's start there. So the offer comes in and you say no. This offer comes in and you say no. And that is the last one because the nine of wands is right here all right that leads you on this last heel this last journey this last step in the journey and you know it seems dark this offer comes in you say no and, and it just seems dark it just seems like you know things are not and i'm talking about the past right now so if you resonate with this you would understand what i'm saying this offer come you you give this offer this offer comes in and, and the answer is no and it seems dark it seemed like you know I, you had it all together you thought you knew um this was the person that you were created to be with and now it's just darkness it's like you don't know why um you don't know why things happen in the way it happened or you, you just don't know you're in the unknown 
So you just decide to take charge of yourself and of your life. So you start working on the things that make you happy and blessed. I mean, first of all, you're already blessed. You, the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups, you're already blessed. But after this energy of unknown and, and being rejected, you just start working on yourself. Because you want self-love. You want to love yourself. You want to pour into yourself. So you start pouring into yourself. Maybe you, you know, whatever you've been doing to get yourself back together. It could be getting your money together, getting your finances together, getting your body together, getting your mind, body, and spirit together. But you start working yourself and providing yourself with self-love. Because the one person you want to be attracted to you is you. How, you know, nobody else is going to be attracted to you if you're not attracted to you. So you're getting yourself in a position of self-love. And your life transforms. When you start pouring into yourself, your life transforms. Because that's what's supposed to happen when you pour into yourself. Come on, light. Your life transforms. And you enter a new level. You enter a new phase of life. You enter a more peaceful phase of life. I was about to say you can't make this up. I love saying it. I know everybody says it, but then here comes this King of Pentacles, Divine Masculine Aries Energy, Mars Energy, Women are from Venus, Men are from Mars. Remember that we used to say that when we were little. Um, here comes this King of Pentacles, ready, leveled up. He poured into himself as well. He's ready. He leveled up. He's like, okay, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for the sun. I'm ready to be blessed. You're a blessing. This is how he feels about you. This is how the masculine feels about you. I'm sorry I keep saying he. I'm ready for you. You're a, best, you're a blessing. You're the sun. You're the sun after the rain. Then we have the star. He recognizes you. He recognizes you for you, who you are. This could be recognition from not only him, from when you're in a place of self-abundance and love like that, it's, you not only get recognition from, you know, your masculine, but you get recognition from others as well. You could be your tribe. It could be your employees. It could be your, your the people around you. But people recognize your radiance. You start being recognized as light because you are light, especially as a feminine, especially embody embodying divine feminine energy. You are light and, and you recognize that. And he recognizes that because you're his son. The masculine recognizes the feminine as the son. Libra season. This is not disappointment and heartbreak. This is Libra season. You know, when a card is displaced like that, and it doesn't match in a reading, you have to ask yourself, why did Spirit give me that card then? And what other energies come with that card? And this is a time frame. This is Libra season. And you come together. So get ready. Whoever resonates with this masculine feminine, things are about to change for you. Continue to pour in yourself. Continue to build yourself. Continue to love on yourself. And things will happen as they should. Again, this is divinely led this is divinely led and guided so there's nothing to worry about pour into yourself focus on yourself and building yourself and everything else will happen as it should uh this reading <laughs> i forgot to say this at the beginning of the reading but this reading was brought to you by my book the power of i am by ashley gillard it's on amazon i highly recommend it if it's an ebook version right now i haven't released the paperback i haven't put the energy that it deserves into this project, but I will soon. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. This would definitely like. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew. <laughs>